Hi everyone, um, as I've told you before in the last video, I'm here to show you some uh, web features or web pages just for you to practice your English. Uh, the first one that I'm going to show you is Lyrics Training. Lyrics Training is a very useful web page to practice with songs. You know, it is a very nice thing because you select the artist that you like. So, for example, uh, let's say, I don't know, I'm going to practice with uh, uh, some of the artists that are here. Let's say Kings of Leon. I like this artist. So, I select a, a, a game mode where I can select different levels of expertise. Uh, beginner, intermediate, advanced, and expert, right? I can play karaoke if I want, that is a very nice feature that it's got. I can print the lyrics, I can buy them, well, report a problem, I can share them, you know. And uh, let's say, for example, I want to play in intermediate level. So I select a mode, a mode selection or a mode writing. And I select here practice, you know. So it starts like the song. So this is like the introduction of the song, I let it play, and, alright, alright, here the video stops, and it is because I am not uh, completing the song, so what I need to do is to complete the song, did you listen what he said? If I didn't listen what what he said, <clears throat> I can go back again and let him repeat or the video repeat what it is said. Well, here it is, it is stopped because I didn't put the word. So, here, you know, as long as the song goes, I need to write down the word. Um, I didn't catch what he said, so... They kitty like hmm I I I'm lost there. So what you need to do is just to practice, you know, like the idea is that you practice your listening skills, you repeat again the song and you will have a very good exercise. Uh well let's just stop here. Um this video this uh this web resource. The second one that I want to show you is cursoingles.com. Here we have <coughs> excuse me a lot of resources here um, you have like complete courses specific things and verbs you know if you want to practice regular irregular phrasal verbs video lessons you have a lot of resources you have here uh, grammar exercises English songs games you know here in resources you have vocabulary English expression English uh, English uh, uh, quotes, uh, you know, like translation, conjugator, blah, 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 blah. You have a lot of things and you have also a community. You can make friends by, you know, like clicking here and maybe you can contact someone that is learning English and is going to help you learning more. Um, <clears throat> well, so the web page is a very nice thing, you know, like you have a lot of, uh, you know, here, uh, for example, I am in Nivel Intermedio and we have some topics, you know. Let's, for example, check out some adverbs and thing. Here's like the grammatical rules. Uh, you know, they have examples also. And it is a very interesting thing because it they explain you like the function of the adverb, the function of the word, and all that stuff. So that's very, very pretty, you know, pretty much cool about this thing. Um, another one is word reference. Here I have a, you know, like a word selected. The word is mirror. Uh, one of the very good features of this web page is that you can actually listen to the word 
mirror. mirror. You see, you can listen to what the word and you can listen in different accents. Mirror. You have mirror, you know, which is like the English standard. Mirror. Mirror, you know, which is like the Irish one. Mirror. Mirror, you know, like some random stuff. And you have the Jamaican one. Mirror. Mirror, you know. It is very similar to one of my friends, Kid Nation. I don't know if you know it, but he pronounces sort of like a Jamaican English. Um, well, you can look for any word that you want. For example, you can look for, I don't know, from English to Spanish or from Spanish to English. So let's say I don't know how to say, um, I don't know, like cinta, you know, cinta. Uh, cinta. So you have uh, lazo de tela, you know, from lazo de tela, cinta, and you have to check out uh, the type of where it is, you know, it's a, a noun, so of course it's, it would be like ribbon, tira larga y flexible, like tape, you know, uh, cinta de película, movie, you know, or film, right, cinta de planta, wow, spider plant, well, and banda transportadora, you know, like conveyor belt. Well, you have a lot of meanings for a, for a single word. So you can, you know, like try to listen to those. And if you want to listen to the pronunciation, for example, of the word, you go to one of the definitions and you listen. Tape. Tape. Uh, tape. 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 Well, you can practice also the pronunciation of that. Well, another web page I want to show you is uh, BAP.LA. This web page is very interesting because it's got some conjugations that you want for the verbs that you don't know. So you might find a verb that you don't know and you want to find the conjugation. Let's say, I don't know, stay. Stay, which, uh, which, is, a <clears throat> which is a regular verb. Stay, stayed, staying, stayed, staying, staying, as well. You have in different kinds of tenses, you know, tense. Remember that tense is the tiempo in Spanish. Tiempo verbal, tense, you know. So you have present, present, continuous, simple, past, blah, blah, blah. You have all the tenses in English. And this is a very nice tool for you to understand some of the things that you don't have clear about verbs. So you can find, for example, I don't know, let's say drink. Delicious. Uh, drink. This is not a regular verb. Look. Present perfect. Future. Well, past perfect. Blah, 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 blah. All right. Simple past. <clears throat> well, um, another thing that I want to show you is this uh, agenda web. This is a very nice uh, thing for you to look at. Um, one of the coolest things about this uh, web page is that you can look at uh, some of the, you know, some of the exercises here. You have like grammar exercises, vocabulary exercises, verbs exercises, listening exercises, reading exercises, videos, <gasps> songs, stories. You will, you know, you can analyze phonetic aspects about that. You know, like the phonetic. Uh, you know, so you can like practice your pronunciation. But let's say, for example, we want to practice conjunctions. So we have some exercises here with conjunctions, and we have to like check, for example, it was very sunny last Sunday, and we went to the beach because we went to the beach, but we went to the beach, well, or we went to the beach, so we went to the beach. Uh, would you like meat? Would you like meat or vegetables for lunch? Or you can say and vegetables for lunch. Well, both of them are possible. And well, um, that's it. I think that's it, guys. Thank you very much for your attention. And see you in the next time.